okay, so first things first. Last week, I was verified by Gemini and Coinbase. So I had written both of them saying I wanted to close my account, just give me my funds on, on Gemini because I wasn't getting verified and it had been almost a month. And so after that, after I wrote emails to both of them, within the next day or two, uh, I was successfully verified with both. Now, I had already exchanged some USD to Ethereum in Gemini. So Gemini is just an exchange. So I had already put some of my money in Gemini. So now I could like use it to do things with and I can use it to um, list my NFT. So finally verified, <sighs> took forever, really, really annoying. But using Gemini, I exchanged about $250 uh, USD into Ethereum. Now Ethereum is like over $1,000 for one Ethereum token or coin, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, so in Ethereum, I only have like 0.11 something, not that much, but it's around $250. Now you have to pay some fees. So it might've been around $235 altogether. So, but it's interesting because each day it'll go up or it'll go down. So I had $235 USD and then one day I'd have like 240, then maybe it would go down. And tonight I had about 250. So that's, so I had made about $20, you know. So it's kind of interesting. Just, I don't really know how to follow all the charts, but I can see when the money is, is going up. It's sort of an interesting thing. Makes me want to just keep money in there and see, you know, how much money I can make just by having money in there. Um, sort of interesting. Okay, so anyway, now that I have my Ethereum that I can move and withdraw and things like that, I I'm pretty sure that I that I just uh, minted. I don't know what I don't really know what minted means. I'll put it up on the screen. But I'm pretty sure that I that I minted and listed my first NFT on OpenSea. OpenSea, which is the marketplace. So. I already had an account with them and so and I was able to like upload the images that I wanted to. I was just having a problem when I was hitting, you know, sell. It gives you the option to do like a bid system like eBay or list for a certain price. So I tried to list for a certain price first and it kept saying that I didn't have enough Ethereum. You know, I had to go I had to it says like, oh link your wallet. So I linked Gemini, my Gemini wallet to OpenSea. And vice versa so I could transfer my, my ethereum to them so they could do whatever they had to do said I didn't have enough so I didn't understand that because I had like two hundred fifty dollars worth of ethereum and I didn't think the listing I didn't think it would co it would cost that much to list but I don't know it wouldn't work all right I don't think I'll be able to do this while holding the phone but let's see set price Um, one Ethereum. I know that's a lot, but it's the first one, so. So let's see what happens here. So initialize my account. You must first complete a free plus gas transaction. Keep the tab open while we wait for the blockchain to confirm your action. This only needs, needs to be done once for your account. Okay. Confirm the transaction with your wallet. All right, so. So I have to confirm the transaction with my wallet. So let me go do that. Right now I'm using Gemini. So I'm gonna go figure that out. So then I tried the bid system and that did work. Okay, so first it told me I didn't have enough ether after I put like 200 something dollars in there worth of ether. And then I tried it again on a bid system and it seems like it's working so just confirm this so I have a reserve of one ether I don't know if it's gonna meet that price 
Sale ends in five days. I think I should have put a lower. Oh, <laughs> I think I should have put a lower, um, a lower price. But I, th I think it's, I think it's available. I think it's up. Um. So I don't know. I think I have to figure out a way to promote this now, which I'm, I'm very confused about. So. Uh, let me see if I can do a price drop. No. The reserve is one ether. I don't know if it's going to make that much. I feel like that's a killer. Oh, the highest the highest bidder will win the item at the end of the auction. Okay, so we'll see what happens. I might try to figure out how I can lower this. So I really just want to, I don't want to, I don't need to sell it for that much. That's like, I think that's like over a thousand dollars one ether. So that's not really going to work. But I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think I have it up there. So I'll explain how I got it working. I think when I do a, the talking head video which will be my head talking to you guys. Alright, so I, th I I think I got it. I think. So confusing. Five dollars, but I don't know what the other fees are. I don't know how much more how much money I have on my OpenSea wallet. I'm not sure how much I have in my Gemini wallet. I just wanted to get it done. So now I have successfully listed my first NFT, which is a crypto snail, which is one of these guys which you know, I, I went all out, so I have some shirts and stuff like that. Uh, Crypto snails is a is the first series is probably about 50 snails. So these are snails that I've sketched, drawn. These are snails that have been in my intros and outros, animations. Um, just a bunch, just 50 snails. Um, the the earliest one dating back to like the year 2000 or so. When I was in college, I made like this postcard with this like weird, creepy snail. So that's one of them. So there's 50 snails. The first one is now listed, and the only, the only thing about OpenSea is that the, the bid system, I think I have it listed for maybe like $107 or something right now. I, th I think the reserve is one Ethereum, which is like over $1,000, so I don't see how I'm going to make that much. Like, I don't see how I'm going to sell it. So I think if someone does want to buy it for lower than that, then I think that I can make the sale I just have to pay like the gas fees and again gas is sort of like this fee to put it on the blockchain or something like that um, still kind of confusing but there's extra fees if it doesn't make the minimum and their minimum is like over a thousand dollars so it makes sense I mean I guess that's why they can do a lot of stuff for free because yeah if if you do sell it then you know it's not, I, I don't know they're not it's not really it's not like they're gonna lose money if people are selling things for a thousand dollars all the time um, it's just the people that are just selling them that are listing stuff but not really selling I don't know I don't really understand I don't really understand but I did but I but I, I, I finally got it I don't know where my money is I don't know who I gave it to I really don't think anything is gonna come from this but I'm gonna figure out how to market it I guess on Twitter there's like a big NFT surge. Uh, Instagram, obviously I have Crypto Snails and I have Drug Free Dave, which I haven't posted on Crypto Snails. I think I'm gonna do that right now um, as my first NFT. And I'm gonna look at some other sites and figure out a way to really promote this because I have no idea how to get this out and how to make myself look like, um, you know, maybe in the future these will be worth money because this is, you can actually buy my digital art so I don't know so I still have a lot of work to do that was the main goal was to list my first NFT so now hopefully one of these days I can sell my first NFT if I don't sell this one I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen but I have 50 of them ready to go so I'm gonna see if I can make this first series happen because as you can see I'm all in I have shirts on Tee Public, and um, uh, so that's where we are now. We are, um, that's where we are. 
Hopefully I can sell this. If I sell this for one Ethereum, if I meet the reserve bid, I'll be blown away. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. The saga continues. So yeah, I don't know. Thanks for watching. If anyone's if anyone's stuck by, I know these are kind of weird and boring videos, but um, I don't know. I mean, this this could be something. Could be the beginning of something. Could be the beginning of nothing. We'll see. But thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next NFT video, whenever that whenever that happens. Maybe in a few days. the 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 auction ends in five days, so we'll see if it went up or if it's a dud. I don't know, but I'll let you know. That was creepy. Thank you.